Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. And God bless each one of you as you prepare to join me on this live broadcast. God bless you. I hope your week has been blessed. And I pray that the grace of God has been sufficient for you in every way. Uh, and His grace is carrying you. Praise the Lord. Where would we be if it was not for the grace of God? Where would we be? Praise Jesus. So, Father, we give you praise. We give you glory and we give you honor. We magnify you because you are God. I am praying for the sick. May you touch them with your healing power in the name of Jesus. I am praying for every man and every woman with every different types of need. May you provide and meet everyone at the very point of their needs. King of glory, may your word build us. May your word grow us and may your word give us strength and knowledge. Impart us with your grace of understanding and of wisdom in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We just worship you and adore you and glorify you for who you are in our lives and for what you've made us to become and from where you're getting us from, oh God. Thank you. We bless you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. I always say, if it was not the Lord who was on our side, then you would understand what, you know, what David was saying. If it was not the Lord who was on your side, on the day they rose against you for no reason, you know, on the day you woke up and they hated you for no reason. On the day they looked at you and they thought, hmm, you're not as beautiful as we thought. If it is not the, not the Lord who was on your side, then most of you would have committed suicide. Most of you would have gone into depression, you know, reclined into yourselves. But thank God for his grace and his mercies. Here we are, praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. So today, uh, I'm just teaching on, you know, violent, violent, enemies, violent prayers, violent reactions. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Each one of us, we know we have enemies. And if you don't have an enemy, we thank God for you and we pray for your situation to remain the same. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. But I know that there is a man, there is an enemy for every man. And in fact, some of us like Paul, four of them were fasting to make sure Paul will die. Praise mm -hmm. God. I don't know how many are fasting against you today, how many are praying against you today, how many are moving from one prayer uh, prayer place to another, trying to find a Balaam who can curse you for them, praise God, for, uh, they can curse you for them, yeah, they can curse you for them, they can pay the divination fee and somebody's there busy cursing you and they don't know you, praise the Lord, I don't know how many, but they are there, the enemy of your destiny, and you know many a times, these enemies, you, you may, when you are not, when, when nothing is happening, nothing positive is happening in your life, you may think you have no enemies. Mm. You know, as long as your life is stagnant, as long as you are in the place where people or your enemies want you to be, and these are people who compete with you. Mm. Have you ever seen people who compete with you for no reason? Mm. You don't even have the kind of money they have, but they are there competing with you. They are looking at the kind of dress you bought. They are looking at the kind of shoes you are wearing. They are looking at the kind of whatever. What is happening? What food did you eat? How peaceful are you in your marriage? There are people who have a jealousy spirit, and it is a spirit from hell. And they look around for who to envy. Praise God. Mm. I was talking to somebody, and she told me, it is, uh, it is very easy to fight a woman who is taking your man or your husband from you if she's doing it for money. You know, because if your husband's job, maybe you, you can even pray that let my husband be broke for, for a break so that this woman goes away. And for sure, the moment is jobless muli, she's gone. However, if you are praying against a woman who just fell in love with your husband, she has her own money. In fact, now it's your husband who is a, who is a sugar, sugar baby because she's the sugar mommy now. Ben 10. Or is the Ben 10. Praise God. You have a problem. Because this woman did not love your... There's nothing attracting her to your husband other than his personality. Mm -hmm. She just picked and said, Ni who you? <laughs> You're in trouble. You will pray, you will fast, you will just be, she will be just there looking at you until the day she wakes up and she wonders, what did I notice in this man? So battles are different, praise God. Mm -hmm. So when 
the enemy looks at you, investigates you, and they see you are approaching a place where they don't want to you to be. That is when you will realize that even your auntie hated you. Mm -hmm. Your auntie, when you visit, she will now give you all the jobs. You'll go to her shamba. You, she will want you to stay there for 10 days. And 10 days for what msonye? Because anataka shamba ke limwe. Anataka suju what ifanywe. Anataka all the dirty jobs ifanywe. Uh, she, she, she's there. You know users. And that is where they want you to be forever. So you go there one day. You're visiting and you say, hey auntie. I thank God I got a job. And then she's listening and the job description looks like you'll get money. And then a countenance is just fallen. Mm -hmm. That is when you know she's your enemy. Praise God. Your uncle. With these relatives we have. Even your own mother, praise God. It's unfortunate that we have parents that, you know, size, uh, set their kids against each other. So it is always maybe the first one should serve the last one or the last one should be a slave to the second one. And the moment this child looks like they are coming out of their hands, now their, their stance changes, their countenance changes. The moment, you know, when your foundation is, is in, you know, it is in hips, you know. It has been broken. It is nothing but broken stones and pebbles. They are okay. Mm. But the moment you look like you are raising that foundation, you are clearing that environment, like you are clearing land to start building, and they look and they see you have building material, that is when you will have you will know you have you have enemies praise god and we have these enemies that come out of the blues you know they rise against you for nothing there are people you have loved there are people you have taken care of there are people you have provided for in fact others are even people that your father educated praise god when you people were going to school, you would not get school fees unless their school fees is paid. You would not get enough shopping because your father was dividing himself in, into his family, into his clan, for his clan. But guess what? The same, same cousins, now they are set to compete with you. You know, it's like a spirit, eh? It's like they want to show you, your father helped us, but we are better. We turned out better. It's like helping them was, was, it was setting a stage for competition. Praise God. I'm talking about violent reaction, actions, violent people, people who will one day they just wake up and they decide you are their enemy. And they start treating you as such, praise God. And you, you are there thinking, ah, it's only, it's, it's Caro. Caro is my friend since we were kids. She's, I understand her. Then by the time you realize you don't understand her and her emotions are totally out of control, it is too late. She has wrecked your marriage. She has wrecked the life of your children. She has destroyed opportunities just because you are dealing with violent people and you are docile. Praise God. You are docile. The kind of... Um, provocation they are releasing against you does not equal the reaction you are giving out. Praise God. It is very dangerous. Praise the Lord. It is very, very dangerous to one day notice that somebody was trying to poison you and then now they came and they said, oh, I'm so sorry. I don't know what got over me. <laughs> and then now you go to a counselor and the counselor is like, I have a road. Do you know why I'm so you try to kill you? He was, he, he has these uh, rages. Eh? They, they come on to him once in a while. Eh? You will just be careful, but he's okay. Otherwise he's okay. My friend. That one will succeed. This time they failed. Next time they will succeed. That is why, praise the Lord. I was reading somewhere where somebody had written on, I think on Facebook, and they said, uh, forgiving you is compulsory. But after that, walking with you is not compulsory. Praise the Lord. You can forgive them. But there are people you should know, this one should be my enemy and they should be away from me. Praise God. I want to show you something in the book of Nehemiah. Nehemiah is here in the service of the king. And then suddenly there is news that the city has been burned, the walls have been broken, and everybody has gone their own way. In short, back home, everything is not as it should be. And Nehemiah is sad, praise God. You know, unlike some of us, when we are, uh, maybe from where, where you come from, you are the only one who is doing well, mm -hmm. and you're very okay. Praise God. You're very okay. All your brothers, they bow to you. All your sisters, they bow to you. All your nieces and nephews, they want to It's like the I caught. 
when this one comes out from with this problem another one comes in and you are in a position to help you are in a position to rebuild the walls of their lives but guess what you 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 feel good when you are you know the queen of the rea the actions you know your parents cannot do anything without seeking your opinion hallelujah because you are important and you want it to remain like that so the only important people in that family it's you your wife and your children so uh, the rest they have just to bow to you. Hallelujah. We have such, even in the church of Jesus Christ. You find a man who comes from a family where his brothers, they have no work. They, they, they cannot find job. He is in a position to get them jobs. He can't get them jobs. Why? Praise God. Yes, there are others who could be in a position to get them jobs, but they've proved to be donkeys and idiots so you can do away with those ones but here are those that respect you honor you as a firstborn they honor you as a brother msonye they they listen to you they are not abusive they they don't reach a place where they think they are older than you where to nimuze kuzaliwa but upper they are the ones you know they are they are not there they are good people but then you choose not to help them why because you know you feel so good when everybody's like msonye 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 and you're like Every time you take your phone, this relatives are, now this is my mom, now this is my sister. Now, you know, you're, you're there, you're good. If something happens to you, even you, 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 your own children, nobody can support them. You don't even have a relative you can call and say, uh, I need. And you know, sometimes we forget, eh? we forget. You can have a bus that is full of strangers and they are, they, they are your friends. And most of those they are your friends just because of something. They are getting something from you. The moment you will go back to zero, you will only have maybe one friend who, can, who may stick closer than a relative, yeah? But again, all the bus could be empty, praise God. And then you find yourself falling back in the hands of those you refuse to help mm. when they, they need it. So here you are, you are stranded, and you have nobody to help you. You know, some people, when they are in, a posi they are in position and they refuse to help, you may need help one day. One day, don't worry, you may have money today, you have everything you think you need. However, you can wake up one day and find that you are in dire need. Jeremiah is trying to rebuild, he's, he's asked permission, he has gone home, and he has gone to try and rebuild the walls of their lives. Praise God. When he was serving in the, in the, king, in the king's palace, he didn't have many enemies. Akina Tobias, they were his friends. But when they had, praise God, Nehemiah chapter chapter 2, uh, when he went to the governors with the letter, the Bible says in verse 10, when Sambalat, the Hor Horonite, and Tobiah, the servant, the Ammonite, heard of it, it grieved them exceedingly that there was come a man to seek the welfare of the children of Israel. It just grieved them. What was the trouble of Israel serving them? Nothing. They were just they were just happy to see them suffer. They were happy to see them sleep with no safety. You know when you, you are sleeping in a place where there's no fence, eh? it's like you're sleeping on an open field and every type of enemy is passing there. You know how you will sleep peeping through the curtains because you don't know what is happening. There were people who were very happy with that situation. So when this man came up and he was like, I am going to rebuild these walls, some people were grieved. And it's not just grieved. They were grieved exceedingly, praise God, exceedingly. You try to tell somebody, hey, nowadays I am, going, I am having a job. It grieves them exceedingly, mm. praise God. Mm. You try and tell them, oh, you know what? My daughter, actually, she passed her exams, and right now she's joining such and such university. They, they are so sad, praise God. They cannot even say, okay, we bless God. They are like, hmm, oh, okay. Did you buy, did you, did you buy the salt? You know, it's like you are not talking it has grieved them, praise God. And there is nobody as bad mm -hmm. as an enemy who has been grieved by your advancement. Who has been grieved 
by the story of your prosperity. I'm telling you know sometimes you people, I see people small blessing on Facebook. Me and my car. Eh? You are trying to tell people eh, you are there thinking you are doing you you are you are you are what? You know you are making them feel like that. Who is feeling like that? You are getting yourself better enemies. Mm -hmm. You are creating a worse situation. Just imagine. Before you could reach a point where you are driving that car, what was your life? What was your life? How was your life? Praise God. How was your life? Guess what? That is where you want to go back. Some enemies are grieved by simply hearing that a hey, President Uhuru was asking after Pastor Veronica. Only that. They were in a meeting where I was not there. And they had President Uhuru say, and who is this mama? I think I should see her. They will now come and chase me out of city. They will make sure I am no longer in the city of Nairobi. Why? I should go to a place where the, nobody will hear of me again, let alone for me to know that the president is, ask, is asking after me. There are people like that. When they get hint of your prosperity, mm -hmm. just, you know, even talking like you will prosper, praise God, you know, talking like you can buy a house, Talking like you're going to get married. Talking like your husband is a good man. Talking like your children, they are not spoiled. I know of people who can buy drugs and introduce them to your child out of jealousy and malice. Praise God. It is dangerous when you have such people around you and your reaction is funny and your reaction is passive. You know, uh, it's no longer, it's no longer... It's no longer about protocol when it comes to spiritual matters. Praise God. The Bible says there is no weapon that is forged against you that will prosper. And every tongue that rises against you in judgment, you shall condemn that tongue. And imagine these tongues, they are rising every morning. But because we are born again eh, and we've left everything to God. God who said there any tongue that rises against you in judgment, you shall, you you shall condemn you, 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 John, you, Peter, you, Veronica, you, you shall condemn. And here I am saying, they are raising against me. All those tongues, it's okay. Me, I just say I give them to God. Me, I give those tongues to God. Uh, God will deal with them. Who is God? God has given you the mandate. God has given you the authority. Here you are throwing it back to him. God will take care of it. He will not take care of it. Jesus has already given you the authority. So here are these guys. It is grieving them that this guy is going to rebuild the city. It is grieving them exceedingly, not just grieving them. So bad, so bad that they don't have sleep. So bad that they have started investigating him. So bad that they are trying to make trouble for him. Praise God. So bad that now they want him dead. When somebody is saying you are betraying the king on those days. Excuse me. There are mosquitoes here or what? Eh? When somebody is saying you are betraying the king. Guess what? They are looking for you to hang. Huh? Mm -hmm. They are looking for you to hang. Mm -hmm. When somebody starts saying, eh, kuna mtu, ametukana uru, nani musonye? They, they, they don't wish you well. They don't wish you well. They are not even thinking about you going behind bars. They are thinking about you hanging. Praise God. And so, the moment this guy moved to try and do something about his foundation, trouble began. Praise the Lord. Have you ever seen the time you say, now I am going to start praying. Hell breaks lose. Mm -hmm. Anybody who can hate you will hate you. Anybody who can talk about you will talk about you. Anybody who can be malicious about you, they will be malicious. Praise God. They will they will try their best. Praise the Lord. They will try, try, try their best to make sure that they stop you at any cost. At any cost. You are trying, you've received a letter of appointment. I know people who've gone as far as writing, praise God, writing to a company. You want to employ Veronica. She's a thief. Mm. Bringing confusion that will put that action on halt. And they say, we have to investigate you. We are sorry. Somebody reached out to us, warning us. And we have to be careful, praise the Lord. And that's how people lost their opportunities. 
Why? Because their reaction was was not equated to the kind of people, the kind of violence the enemy is emitting. Praise God. You know, bad and violent reactions against you. They call for a very violent retaliation. Praise God. If somebody comes on you full force, they want you to die. You cannot just start saying, okay. Uh, if I die, I die. Even you, you will die one day. My friend, you have given them the go ahead. You have given them the go ahead. They will surely kill you. Imagine these guys. They, they, have, they have heard, praise God. They have heard that, uh, that these people are rebuilding the wall. They have now decided they are personal enemies to Nehemiah. Awamuachi, Mzonye, they cannot, they, they, all the, Everything else in life now has stopped and they are, they've zeroed on on this guy. And they are coming. Uh, verse what? Verse 9, is it 19? 19. But when the Sambalat, the Horonite, and Tobiah, the servant, the Hamonite, and Geshem, the Arabian, had it, they laughed us to scorn and despised us and said, what is this thing that you do? Will you rebel against the king? Have you heard even your mother telling you, we don't pray those prayers in this family? Mm -hmm. We don't pray such kind of prayers. Which prayers are these you are praying nowadays? Hati ho, build me again. Build you what? You are who you are because you are lazy. Stop praying and work hard. Huh? Stop praying and I don't know do what. Stop going to church like every day. Stop it. Praise the Lord. And they come. And they, in fact, they will do everything to try and put you down, Msonye. They will ask you, you're trying to fast. Fasting in Shai Sot, this type of a thing. <laughs> Since when did fasting bring a solution? Oh, you're trying to pray. Oh, midnight prayers. You're the people who stay awake, eh? eh? And look at you. Where are you? Praise God. One day we had gone somewhere for a bash. And the guy that had funded the bash, he called me and he said, Vero! And he was laughing and he said, God loves me more than you. God loves me more than you. I said, eh, I, I, I didn't answer. I said, why? He said, because I have money and you don't. I can eat what I want and you can't. So clearly God loves me. And you know, I looked at him and I saw the devil. When you are down and somebody comes, a drunkard, an immoral, immoral person, a man who has, you know, cast away his family. And he comes and he starts telling you, hey, hey, I'm doing better than you and you're praying every day. What are those prayers for? Yeah? Parents that tell their kids, you go every day to pray and you're still here. You know, depending on me, eating my food, staying in my house. Why can't you get your own house? Husbands who wake up and they tell their wives, hey, you're fasting. You're fasting for what? Okay, it's good you fast to stop eating my food. Because after all, you have nothing in this house. What has those prayers given you? You know, people can be as arrogant as they want to be. These guys, they had these guys who are rebuilding the wall. And they were asking, what is this they are trying? Munajaribu? What are you trying? Eh? I've just been feeding you. What are you trying? You know, when they are calling those family, those demonic family meetings where they are going to slaughter cows and, you know, offer blood offering on the, on the ground and you say, I am not coming. Ah, uh, you're not coming. You are not coming and we paid school fees for your child last time. You are not coming and we did I don't know what. You, are, you know, where you have to associate with wickedness because they think they hold your, they, they hold your life. They hold you, they have you. They, they got you, praise God. And if they drop you, you are dropped. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. These enemies... Who will wake up and decide they are monitoring everything you do. And the kind of rumors they are spreading, my friend, they are not good rumors. And here you are taking it easy. Taking it very easy. Somebody is even predicting your death. Ah, <laughs> Somebody is predicting your death. And you are there saying, Nisawa to, you know, signing it. Nisawa to. Uh, and I mean, uh, yes, see, Mungu, yes, see, Mungu, but we are gods, and we shall even judge the earth. Praise God, you are gods, you are gods, you have authority, you can execute power. Praise God, and when somebody is executing negative powers, 
and you are there taking it like you know even even trying to say uh, you know jesus said if they slap you on this side you turn on this side that is slap what of speaking molly because slapping is not speaking eh? it's very different that's physical war mm -hmm. but what of malice what of speak speech people talking from morning till evening eh this one it's coming down in a, in Aisha, in Ashuka. So they have a secret. They know how it Aisha. You understand? And there you are. That is just my brother. My brother talks like that. My mom. My mom, she talks like that. My mom talks like that. Oh, my sister. My sister is crazy. She speaks. That one. She can speak. You, you see my uncle when he's drunk. He talks like that. He doesn't talk like that. Nobody will speak something that is not in their hearts. Nobody will, you know, you, nobody will speak something that they've not thought about. They will say, oh, I was very thoughtless. I, as in, I was not careful in what I am removing from my archive. But other than that, it was inside there. Praise God. So they started the mocking. Praise the Lord. They started the mocking and they were mocking and they were mocking. And in fact, there is a place where they are saying, this wall they are building, if a fox stands on it, praise the Lord, it will just fall, praise God. They say it will not, it will not stand. It is not well built. They are now criticizing. If a fox will climb on it, imagine a fox leaning on that wall and it falls. How feeble is that wall? Eh? Trying to put roadblocks on everything you are doing. You try this, they are here. You try this, they are here. And my friend, Msonye, they are not quiet about it. They are telling everybody. Eh? Msonye, akuna mali anaenda. Msonye, anajisiki anga, mebarikiwa. But he's going nowhere. They are talking. And Msonye, you are receiving the message and the news. And you are like, Miss Howard, let them talk. I mean, si watangea tu mchana na usiku watalala. But once they speak mchana, the words are there. They are spirits. And they are following you. They are hovering over your family. They are hovering over your marriage. By the way, it's like lighting a fire. You don't have to remain there to see how it burns. Mm -hmm. It will keep burning. And if it's not taken care of, it will burn down the whole house. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Your document, your important things, your good clothes, your, 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 your electronics, they will all go into flame if you don't put off the fire. But just because the guy put on the fire and he went to sleep, oh, my brother, he talks like that and he sleeps. Oh, he talks like that and he walks away. By the way, you know, making excuses of, for wicked people. They warrant a violent reaction. Let me tell you the truth. Uh, Nehemiah, he condoned these people. But there came a time that he prayed. Praise the Lord. He prayed. And uh, uh, that is the prayer uh, I want you to see. In chapter 4. After 4. But it came to pass that when Sambalat heard that we built at the wall, mm -hmm. he was wrath. And took great indignation and mocked the Jews. He mm. was wrath. Don't you imagine that he, or you wake up in the morning and you call somebody, ah, I'm blessed. The deal came through. You, you think they are happy from the other side of the fence, the other side of the wall, from wherever you are talking with them from. They could be like, hmm, okay. Or they are like, eh, hey, sure. You can't see them, praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. And uh, and he spoke before his brethren and the army of Samaria and said, What do these feeble Jews? Mm -hmm. Will they fortify themselves? Will they sacrifice? Will they make an end in a day? Will they revive the stones out of the heaps of the rubbish which are burned? Now Tobiah the Ammonite was by him and he said, Even that which they build, if a fox go up, he shall even break down their stone wall. Praise God. And then I want you to hear to this reaction because I want you to learn how to give your reactions. Sometimes we are condemned as Christians. We are, you know, we've been taught that Christianity is about sitting down and taking sheet after sheet after sheet because, you know, we are born again. Eh? 
we are born again and we love the Lord. So for us to be victorious, our victory is in sitting down and taking nonsense. The Bible says in the book of Ephesians, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So the wrestling is there, Sonia. The, if, the, if there was no wrestling, Muli, I think Paul would have said, for we are protected by the blood of Jesus. Whether they be principalities, powers, rulers, every form of wickedness, remain docile and you will see the glory of God. Ah, it would have been easy for me. You know, to remain docile is the easiest way, you know, just to lose a battle. Many people, they don't want to engage. Why do you think many people hate the ministry of deliverance? Why do you think many people, even Christians, are opposed to casting out devils? Hmm? Because these are, these are spirits that you, you have to know God. Mm. You have to stand with God. Mm. Not unless you've gone under the sea and you, you are just performing. You are performing miracles and performing healings. If you are truly and genuinely anointed of God to cast out devils, that it, it means you have to remain straight. On the straight. Because my friend, you can, you can command a devil. Come out! And say, hey, you are a thief. <laughs> You are a thief, and you're like, hey, hey, uh, excuse me, can you all go out? <laughs> I want to, I want to conduct personal deliverance because now demons are there. They are talking. Some of these things they say are true, and some are lies. Praise God. Demons can, they are liars anyway. They will lie. You know, sometimes when you are casting them out, they will try to trick you as if your righteousness is what del brings deliverance. So they will start saying, "Hey, Mzonya, likunywa juzi." Atu toki, we are not going out. Oh! It's now, it looks like as if they are going out it depends on Mzonye being sober. Anyway, to avoid such embarrassments, and maybe Mzonye drank and maybe God forgave him and now he's, he's moving on in ministry muli. However, Satan will just try to embarrass you. And that means you most... 99.9 percent .9%, you really if you're a deliverance minister you have to fight it out you have to fight the flesh you have to fight you have to you know when jesus says the prince of this world he comes but he if in me he found nothing it has to be like that for you as a deliverance minister and as a child of god praise the lord so people choose the field where it is easy mm -hmm. it is very safe you know eh? prophesying we are not talking mm -hmm. about real prophetic utterance. Yeah. We have real prophets. They speak, it comes to pass. They speak, it is so. But we have this 88% that predicts. When they look at you, you are sick. They can say, eh, that sickness is unto death. According to what they are seeing, praise God. When you pretend to be sick and you go to them, they say, eh, the Lord has shown me how this sickness came. We have those ones. So, to a channel and a wow, let's come to the real work. Satan, come out. Sickness, come out. Only few will try to go there because of how the enemy can harass you, can embarrass you. Praise the Lord. So, here is this guy. He has been provoked and now he's giving a reaction. In uh, Nehemiah chapter 4, verse 4. Hear, O our Lord, for we are despised and turn their reproach upon their own head. Turn their reproach. I am talking to those who say, uh, you shouldn't pray against the enemy like that. Bless them. Bless them that curse you. Just bless them. Eh? And let God, let, 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 let God, um, let God, uh, eh? let God do what? Let God deal with them. You can bless them that curse you. But what about the curse? Do you bless also the curse, Muli? What do you do with the curse? Break. You break the curse. But when you're breaking the curse of the one who cursed you, you don't respect them. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know you are a Christian and you should have respect. Eh? Mm. When I curse you and I'm your boss, I'm your pastor and I've cursed you. <laughs> I am the pastor and I've cursed you. Eh? And then you react. Oh, if you are quite break that curse. Eh? You're even talking back at me. I the pastor, I'm saying I've cast you and you're saying you're uncursing yourself. Now it becomes a war. Praise God. He said, Hear, O God, for we are despised and turn their reproach upon their own head and give them for a prey in the hand, land of captivity. 
What kind of a prayer is that? What kind of a reaction is that? Hmm? Wasn't Nehemiah a Christian? Didn't he know that God is love? Praise the Lord. Didn't he know that God is love only? Eh? These people are saying, yeah, the walls we are building, even our folks can break it. Who, who are you? Are you going now to revive yourselves? Are you going to rise from the hip, hip down? Who are you? What are you trying? And this guy is saying, this reproach, this mockery, you know, laughing you to scorn. People just looking at you and laughing and making you feel like a clown. And he says, let their reproach turn on their own head. And let them be given as prey in the land of captivity. Violent reaction warrants a viol double violent reaction also. Literally yet, they say, uh, they say it for touch is a fair game. In the physical realm, it is not. But in the spiritual realm, my friend, you had better know how to hit back. You had better know. When there's, hey, hey, hey. You say, what God can you hear what they are saying? Make sure they see it and they feel ashamed. Praise the Lord. Learn how to give, how to unleash. Praise the Lord. How to give back. Don't just sit there and take it and take it in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Um, and cover not their iniquity. And let not their sin be blotted out from before thee. For they have provoked thee to anger before the builders. When they are abusing me, they are provoking God. Are you getting that? These people were not talking about God. They were aiming at Nehemiah and the builders. But Nehemiah is turning that, that reproach to, to God. So sometimes when you say, hey, me, I'm not going to do anything. Mungu tu ataona. Have you presented that case to God? So that you sit and say, uh, God will sort them out. Is God even aware that you have people who are harassing you? You have people around you who are making your life very hard. Have you reported them to that God? So that you sit and now it becomes God's battle. How does any battle become God's battle? So if, Sonia, when you are a baby, now you've gone out to majirani, you've you've hit this one and you're running home, and then you see your father and you stand behind him. Eh? And if they were if they were bullies, what would they do? They would turn back. But you had to reach to where your father is and hold his leg and start screaming, they want to reach me, they want to reach me. Yeah. You have to involve your dad. If you choose Muli not to involve your dad. They are, you know, they are punching you. You are there bleeding and you are saying, when my father sees me, you, you will see. Then you go home and your father notices you have bruises. And suppose he doesn't ask you what happened. He just doesn't ask you. So you will, you will heal pole pole. Ukiliya too. What if the, fa the first punch, poof, you run to, screaming towards your dad. Even calling daddy. You, you, I've ever seen parents who stand and wanna do get chai. They just, oh, you know, because the child has drawn the attention of the father. So even most of us believers, sometimes these people, they are threatening, but we are not doing anything. We are not praying about it. We are not, we have no reaction whatsoever. We are there seated and convincing ourselves. Mungu ezikubali. Ah, God cannot allow it. God cannot allow it. Why would God allow it? Mm -hmm. Nehemiah called. He said, yeah, oh, our God, for we are despised and turned their reproach upon their head and give them for our prey in the land of captivity and cover not their iniquity and let not their sin be blotted out from before thee, for they have provoked thee. Praise God. Mm -hmm. He pulled God and plugged him in, into the wall and said, now let's go. Praise the Lord. Don't just sit there. When somebody violent is there giving you a reaction after every action, you had better hit back. And not just, not, not, no, it's measure for measure. Mm -hmm. yeah? If they punch you once, you are supposed to punch them like four times so that they will know you are a no go zone. Look at David. I would want us to look at David because uh, I love David. For sure, he was a man after God's own heart. And he knew, he knew how to deal 
with his enemies. Praise God. Huh? Psalm 109, he says, Hold not your peace, O God, of my praise. For the mouth of the wicked and the mouth of the deceitful are opened against me. They have spoken against me with a lying tongue. Mm -hmm. They compassed me about also with words of hatred mm -hmm. and fought against me without a cause. That's mm -hmm. where I want you to know. Mm -hmm. Without a cause. I am not talking about people who wake up, they abuse their neighbors. You know, we have Christians too, Washenzi too. They just wake up. They, they, have, they are mannerless, you know. They wake up. They make their, their neighbors, uh, you know, peaceless. They are abusive. They are the ones provoking their neighbors, you know. They are even provoking the wicked. <laughs> they, they even provoke the witches. A witch is just passing. And you know they are a witch, but they have never bewitched you. And you go... Wachawi wa meshindwa kwa jina la Yesu. Then this witch is just becoming bitter. Because every time you see, for example, you know of a prostitute. She's a prostitute, but that does not give you the leeway every time you see her. Uh, prostitutes are going to burn in hell. Yeah? I know of prostitutes who try to go to church, but they couldn't settle because this pastor knew they were prostitutes. So the moment she stepped into that door, ah! Let us lift our hands before the Lord and call fire. You are not calling for salvation. You are calling fire. A witch comes into church. I even had a fellowship that broke because some brethren were feeling a witch has come into the church. And I'm supposed now as a good pastor and a caring pastor to stand and command the witch to come out of the church. And I told them, if this person is a witch, they are in church. They are in the right place. Praise God. What, what are churches for? Who are they for? They are for the lost. They are for the prostitutes. They are for the thieves. They are for the witches. They are, in fact, those people, they have a right to the house of God. They are running to God. So it's up to the brethren to make sure that the atmosphere in the church is, the, is one that when a prostitute comes into the church, she will not walk out with the pastor as a boyfriend. She will walk out a changed person. Mm -hmm. Praise God. It's not when a witch comes into the church, they should be arrested by the power of God. And then they cannot go out witches. They cannot astral project anymore because they've come to church. But in this case, we are the ones who are blocking the, you know, shutting the gates. No prostitutes. Eh? No thieves. No, I don't know who. Gone are the days when thieves were surrendering their guns on the altar. Why? Because thieves will come into the church instead of getting saved, they will unleash sadakayote, sadakayote, <laughs> and the ashes will be counting the money. And then they will be going around talking like it to talk. Thieves in the church with guns. 14 men robbing a church of what? 2,000 sita people. All you are offering, all your tithes. And now they, they, they I, I heard of these other ones, they stole and then they said, count the money they counted in front of the church and they said, so that you know we are good thieves. Uh, can you remove the tithe, <laughs> the tithe of, of the money they were stealing? And then they gave the tithe and they said, you people don't tithe us, we tithe. Praise the Lord. Uh, there's once upon a time in Kenya, there was this thing of thieves just getting in matatus and stealing. And so there was this story, a woman was giving, thieves got into a minibus. And they said, eh, 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 they removed their guns, you know, one at the back, they are holding guns and there's nothing you can do. They said, do we have Christians in this? In this, uh, in this matatu, uh, yeah, uh, people were. Uh, <laughs> they don't know what to, you know. They don't know what to do. And then the thief said, "Do you pay your tithes?" Only one woman said, "Me, I pay my tithes." She lifted her hand. If they want to kill me because I pay my tithes, fine. Or oh, you pay your tithes, Mama, una lipa tithes. She said, "Yes, I, I pay my tithes." Okay. Chukwa vibeti zote wachana. Oh, Mama. She's the only one who had hand back with her. That is the church, praise God. Because sometimes because, because of the kind of prayers we choose to pray. The kind of, the kind of worship we, we choose to do. You are facing these people. They want you dead. And you are there. Oh God, give them long life. <laughs> give them long life. Give them long life so that they can kill you. Listen to David. David says, they are rising against me for no reason. I have not offended them. They are against me. They don't want to see my children. Just because I had breakfast, lunch, and supper, I am now their enemy. 
You know, people are funny. People are happy when you're telling them, eh, we're all aki ato jakula sapa. Then I look at you, I say, okay, I give you 50 bob. Then when you come tomorrow, we're all, then I ask you, what happened to the 50 bob I gave you yesterday? And then you're like, oh, the 50 bob you gave me yesterday. You you, you have many problems. Okay, the moment you stop coming to me, I'm calling you, eh, hey, Sonia. So, ulibarikiwa ndio sababu uniongele shangi. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's like, just because I gave you 50 bob, you have to keep on calling me every mm -hmm. day. Oh, Vero, you gave me 50 bob, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Do you want 50 bob? No, I don't. I'm fine, okay. Uh, after three days, eh, Vero, how are you today? Uh-huh, I'm fine. And you, umelala nja? No, 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 nimekula. Oh, okay. Then another, grr, grr, uh -huh, how are you? But the moment I call you, grr, missed call. I call you again, grrr, Mr. Oh, Muli, excuse me, kwa na pesa, ndiyo sababu wangalashi watu kama sisi. You know, we are like that. And I don't know why we are like that. It is wicked. Let us stop. Ata kamo mesaidia mtu. Now they are blessed. Give them time and space. Praise God. Sometimes they could see you every day because they had nothing to do. But now they are working. Give them time to get lost and come after a month. Eh? They, praise God. Allow them to grow and be okay. You don't have to be enemies because they are, to, they are not calling you every day. I have people I don't talk to every day. Tunakata two years. But when we meet, we talk. We are friends. It's not like I'm tied there every day. I have to call you. Eh, Sonia, I'm fine. We're all. Oh, excuse you. Okay, if I don't call you. Eh, see, I'll leave it at Praise God. You know that attitude, that bad attitude. So David is saying, for my love they are my adversary, but I give myself unto prayer. And they have rewarded me evil for good and hatred for my love. There are people who are out to reward you evil for good. The reaction they give you for your goodness is evil. You bless them. You make sure if there's there's a vacancy somewhere, you call them sonye. You even take them there. Watch our barikiwe. It's like you empowered them to kill you. Mm. They now turn against you. They turn against your children. They, you, you know, there are people who go as far as going to the places where your children go to school. And to ask, does Vero pay school fees? Mm. Imagine. You, you are minding your business. Somebody has employed themselves full time to mind your business. Those are the ones for, your, for, for, for good. They have rewarded me with hatred. The Bible says, David prayed and said, Set thou a wicked man over him, and let Satan stand at his right hand. That's a violent prayer. It's a violent reaction. You are here paying me evil for good. And I'm supposed to say, okay, nime muachia mungu. So, where is God? Are you going to be living next to God? You know, kukwachia mungu is, if I leave my child with you and I've gone to work, she, my child is in your house. You'll feed them, you'll clothe them, you'll you shower them for me. When I come, I'll pick them. If that's kuachia. So, how kuachia are you wachiaring? How are you handing them over to God? How? Praise God. Because sometimes you need to pray. You need to give a reaction. You cannot just sit there and people are doing every type of wickedness. And you're there, he, 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 smiling under the pain. He, he, hypocrite. Stand and pray. Stand up and dust yourself and start giving a reaction. Praise God. For every violent action, pray like six violent prayer points that even the enemy, they will now start knowing you are touch, you are, the Bible says, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. How dare you allow them to even sit on you mm -hmm. in the name of you are a Christian. So you became a Christian so people can abuse you every day. You became a Christian so that people can, can talk anything they want to talk against you. Please, can you get a backbone? David said, set thou a wicked man over him. And let Satan stand at his right hand. If I pray that prayer today, people will judge me. People will start writing, Kwenda uko, you are born again. Love your enemy. How do I love an, an enemy who does not love me? I love the enemy, but I hate their actions. So every time I'm reacting, I'm not reacting against them. I am reacting against the curse. I am reacting against the witchcraft. Not the witch. If I say let this witchcraft be destroyed. And let it never be performed again. I have disarmed that person. 
I don't hate them. I when when the police force is out looking for criminals, do they hate them? You know, does the government of Kenya just pick on the thieves and hate them? They don't hate them. They are trying to tame them. Praise God. So it's very different. So David says, set thou a wicked man over him and let Satan stand at his right hand. When he shall be judged, let him be condemned and let his prayer become sin. Let his days be few. This one is for Ombea Aduyako. David is saying, let his days be few. Somebody else is singing, Ombea Aduyako. Afanyaje? Aishi Sikumingi, to have more days. David is praying for less days. Another one chooses to pray for more days. Do you know what more days means? It means more trouble. It means more headache. It means more, more, more anxiety, more depression. Can you imagine a woman who is out? Kabisa, she's out to make sure you are out of your marriage. She doesn't even want your husband. She just wants you without a marriage. So she's the one cheering you on your husband. She's telling on you. She's when you smile, you're you're, you're just passing and you smile. And somebody says, "Mama, mama, mananas, you smile." Ah, stucky. She goes, "Your wife." She was smiling to somebody who sells mananasi. Uh, so yeah, she's following you like a shadow, and here you are. Please had very many days to Carol. <laughs> Let Carol. Let Carol. This girl is the person you start praying. Let her move to Uganda. You know, God take her away. Clear the cost for me. Or you are praying, oh God, make sure Karo has rent. You are now living in a gated community. She has rent to pay her house like six months ahead. Uh, make sure, oh God. No, now those are the prayers for me. She is abusing me. Uh, God, even if she's abusing me, you can see. You do what you want. Eh? What does God want? He does not even He does not even rejoice over the death of the wicked. So what does God want? <laughs> Praise God! It's more of what you want. He says, "Let his days be few, and let another take his office." Imagine, is, is it this job that is giving them a headache, making them a pain in my life? Let another take his office. Mm -hmm. There is a reaction that is warranted. Praise the Lord! When somebody provokes you violently. You should also react violently, and you are okay. It is spiritual, and it is okay. It's not a sin, praise God. It is not a sin because you know many a time Satan wants to make you look like you are a sinner every time you react against bad people. So it's like Christians, we are landlocked. We are supposed to say yes to everything the enemy does. Like I was saying here the other day, people. They have no problem when they show witches landing down, crash landing. When I took a video, they will put it on Facebook. You see, this, this is a witch. She was flying. She's here naked, carrying her tail, running. You know, you see those ones. People are not going to be at tea. At tea. They are not. They are happy, yeah. But they don't want to hear you pray. A prayer point that says, every witch flying against me, crash land in the name of Jesus. They don't. And yet, that trip that witch is going, that person is going on a trip, sitting on a hotel or a mat. And they are carrying your name as an agenda. I don't think it's a good meeting, Sonia. And I don't think the results are going to be okay. And here is somebody, Muli, cautioning you against praying against that one. And if you say, hey, any witch who is flying against me, lose your power. People now are raising their eyebrows. They don't like those prayers. They don't like those prayers and they have seen, evidently, people who have crash land going for meetings. Meetings to meet against the saints, to meet against our children, our spouses, our churches even, praise God. There are witches who go round churches and they pray and chant and chant. And when you get into such churches, you sleep. Even the pastor is struggling to preach on the pew. He's sleeping. He's sleeping and preaching. But if we rise and we pray, let it be finished in Jesus' name. Let them lose their focus in Jesus' name. Oh, these ones, they are praying against people. What do you want us to do? It is called spiritual warfare. And this thing is scaring very many Christians. But there is some prayers they can only pray when they are hidden somewhere. Eh? It's not like it's not allowed in the church. In the church, there's, there's a silent communication that we are not mad. And we are not going to pray like mad people. Violent reactions. They warrant extra violent hit backs. If, they, if they, they are not sleeping the whole night. Chanting on how you're going to die.
praise God, then you should not sleep the whole night chanting on how any man who wants you dead, they will die in your place. It is allowed. Praise God. It is allowed. Because that's a principality. If somebody can chant, they are not going to touch you, Musonye. They will just speak. They don't die, they don't die, they don't die. And before I know it, <laughs> and I'm dying. Then I should also be in a position to sit and say, I will not die, I will not die, I will not, I will, I will not die, I will not, you will die in my place, you will die in my It is okay. But here is where castle, the church will now start saying, no, you can't pray like that. The Lord does not allow it. David said, let his days be few. Very few, praise God. Very few. You who is running naked against my children, let your days be few. You who cannot sleep so that my marriage dissolves, let your days be few. Praise God. I am not going to be polite about it. I am going to take a negative attitude. And I am going to be extra violent. If we could measure the weight of violence, yours is coming in one kg, I will give you back 50 kgs. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. It warrants it. Any evil reaction equals extra evil from your side. Because it's, it's fire for fire. Mm -hmm. Praise God. And the moment you pretend you are so born again, and you cannot return fire for fire, then it is your own problem. David said, let his days be few and let another take his office. It is even bad. He says, let his children be fatherless and his wife a widow. What is that? Death. Praise God. Oh. Let his children be fatherless and his wife a widow. Let her children be motherless and her husband a widow. Praise the Lord. Yeah. So can you stand up and fight? Stop being lazy in the name of, oh, Jesus said, when they slap you here, you give them this side. Jesus was not talking about witches. Mm -hmm. So what do you do? The Bible says, suffer not a witch to live. Mm -hmm. The last God spoke about a witch muli. He said, suffer them not to live. Mm -hmm. So you as they are growing fat, because you are born again. So I always tell people, you cannot be more righteous than God. So when he says it, he knows the reason. So God bless you. And may you be violent till we meet on Sunday. Amen.